This is a 35 years old male with a history of PU owing to three months with no clinical history, no lab profile available. What we see on the ultrasound with patients on right over the cubitus posture, and this is the spleen, and uh, this is the right and left hemidiaphragm part of it. Spleen measures. Approximately 12.2 is with a normal because up to uh, 12 is considered normal, 12 centimeter is normal. So this is discipline from pole to pole measuring 12.2 centimeter. This is the splenic vein entering the splenic hyal region. And uh, within the parenchyma of the spleen. We see multiple popoleum that are hypopoic. You see this is a popoleum, this is a popoleum, this is a focal. All these are popoleums. Outer surface of the spleen is regular, smooth. There is no lymph node at the higher region. The largest of these uh, focalian is seen at the superior pole of the spleen that measures that measures approximately 24 by 13 millimeters. Now this is the focalian I am talking about. This is the splenic hyalur region, splenic vein entering the hyaline. And all these, this is a focalian, this is a small focalian, this is a focalian, and this is a focalian. So there are multiple uh, focalians seen spread throughout the Splenic uh, parenchyma. You see, none of the areas seems paired. This one. All these are focal areas. You see, this is a focal in the spleen. This is focal in. This is again a focal in. From this angle, we cannot count them. So there are none of the area of the uh, supreme is seen spared of uh, these focalians. So this is a case of uh, uh, differential can be given. So keeping it in the light mode, I will start with the granulometrous disorder. It can be uh, blood dysplasia, lymphomas, patient does not give any history of weight loss, this is the kidney transfer section, with supreme anterior and you can see the focal lens. So this is a case study of a focal in the supreme involving all of this splenic parenchyma. Thank you.